Where's the rest of it? It's a grand shot. What do you want me to do? It's a heat pump. It's a miracle we found a buyer. We are not going to get a better offer. Fine. So come on then, hand them over. One sec. Shuttleworth Funeral Services, Todd Grimshaw speaking. Sorry for your loss. We um, do have a 10 a.m. slot tomorrow, actually, if you'd want to come in and um, discuss arrangements. What's the name? We'll see you then. So, are you all done? I'm dusted. No other jobs you need me for? I think this little partnership's run its course, don't you? No more happy families you want me to tear apart? If Paul and Billy were so happy, then it wouldn't have been so easy to split them up. I just gave them a nudge. You paid me to pretend that I was from an abusive home. To break into the flat. That's more than a nudge. I did what I had to. Paul was never right for Billy. And they both know it. Surely even you can see that. He seemed right before you came on. <sighs> Look, I love Billy. But he was slumming it. He just couldn't see it. I just needed him to see what a loose cannon Paul is. Once you know how to push his buttons... He might go to prison. Then he shouldn't have gone AWOL at the exact same point that I was nicking the heat pump. It's not my fault he hasn't got an alibi. Oh, which reminds me. I believe this is yours. Never forget, Will. Always have an insurance policy. I get lost. Shuttleworth Funeral Services, Todd Grimshaw speaking. Sorry for your loss. It was under my bedside cabinet. Must have knocked it off while I was sleeping. To think I was going to blame that poor lad. <laughs> yeah, it's lucky I never reported it. Cheers, Craig. Hey, and thanks for the advice. Just a word of warning, he is not in a good mood. What? All right, all right, I'll see what I can do. Yep, OK. Yeah, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Everything OK? No. The bishop is not happy. And building work is already way over budget. We can't afford the delay while we wait for this new heat pump. I'm sure it's not that bad. Mm. You don't know the bishop. When were you going to tell us? Sorry? You got your ring back. Oh, yeah. Was it all sorted? Yeah, uh, well, no, actually. Um, it's still a bit loose, but should have tried it on before I left the shop. <laughs> You are too trusting. Maybe. Listen, I've got something that might cheer you up. Both of you. Oh? I wanted to try and keep it as a surprise, but um, I've been saving as much as I can from my wages, and this week I hit one grand. Wow, a grand? Really? Yeah, am I really that bad with money? Uh, no, I'm just surprised you'd never mentioned it. Well, it wouldn't have been a surprise then. Well, I know we said we weren't going to do anything big for the honeymoon, but I thought with this... Got no excuse not to. Are you sure? This is your money. No, it's ours. Where are you going to go? Well, you're coming too. What, on your honeymoon? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be planning the whole day of a lifetime without you. If that's all right. <laughs> of course. No, I can't think of anything better. As long as my room's as far away from yours as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing, Todd. Thank you. No, thank you, both of you. This time last year, I was barely scraping by on my own, and it was awful. I've got my family back, and I'm not going to mess it up this time. You better not. He might go to prison, then he shouldn't have gone AWOL at the exact same point that I was nicking the heat pump. It's not my fault he hasn't got an alibi. Which reminds me. Never forget, Will. Always have an insurance.